Welcome to my channel where we discuss everything and all things politics, economy, and development in Nigeria and around the world. In this video, we would like to find out who actually sold the presidency to President Bola Metinobo based on the claim by an Islamic cleric that President Bola Metinobo said that he bought the presidency with his personal money. That's what we're going to look at. And then the consequences, the price of selling the presidency to him. That's what we're going to talk about in this video. Now, before I go further on this, if you are new to my channel, you have not yet subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to my channel. Hit the subscription button. Hit the notification bell. When you subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell, Anytime I have a new video, you'll be among the first to know. God bless you. Now, Sokoto based Islamic cleric Sheikh Belo Yabo says that President Bola Metinubu disclosed to clerics and traditional rulers that he bought his way to the presidency. In a video in one of his sermons, Yabo said Tinubu disclosed disclosed this when he met with clerics and traditional rulers at the presidential villa. Yabo was quoted as saying, Tinubu has really impressed me. He invited all the traditional rulers from the north, west and east and told them bluntly that I bought this seat I am on with money. He added, Tinubu has never impressed me like now for coming out to tell the naked truth. Whoever pays the piper dictates the tune. Isn't Tinubu telling the truth? Yabo derided those who saw their votes during the 2023 presidential elections, adding that all they got in exchange for their votes had now been exhausted as they suffered the consequences of their decision at the polls. He said, if you have eaten the spaghetti and macaroni you have been given to vote, you have been, you have eaten the spaghetti and macaroni you have been given to vote and now it is finished it is all over so what next Tinubu said says he spent huge sums sums of money from the primary elections to the actual presidential election it is all over now let us pray and wait for the next election in 2027. If you like, collect his money again and vote for, for him. And I assure you, you will remain in pain. That's all. Yero said. Now the cleric's uh, remark comes days after Tinubu at a meeting with clerics and traditional rulers across the country said that he funded and fought his election from his personal money and no cabal support. Tinubu was quoted as saying, I have no cabal, I have no sponsors. The money I spent on the elections was my personal fortune. At some point, the odds were against me. Banks were locked, but Allah, the Almighty God said, I will be president, Tinubu said. Now, however, despite the claim of buying the presidency, despite the claim of buying the presidency, I can tell you authoritatively in this channel that most Nigerians did not sell their vote to him. 
most Nigerians vote voters voted against Bola Ahmed Tinubu. If you are in doubt, let us assume that the data or election figure or result, election result, presidential election result from INEC is accurate. Even though we know that there were uh, allegations of rigging, which was the main reason why the opponents of Bola Ahmed Tinubu in that election went to court. I make uh, announced that Bola Metinubu became president by winning 8.7 million votes. Atiku Abakar, who came second from Anek uh, results, got 6.9 million votes. Peter Obi, who came third in the Anek uh, published result, got 6.1 million votes. Ravi Mushakwankwasho of NNPP got 1.4 million votes. Now, if you tabulate the results of Peter Obi, Atiku Abakar, and Ravi Mushakwankwasho, that's almost 15 million votes that rejected President Bola Metinbu. It means that these 15 million Nigerians, who are majority of the voters of the 2023 election, did not sell their vote to Bola Metinbu. And if you look at it in terms of geographical look, geographic zones, south, south, and southeast, they not sell vote. Their vote to Bola Metinbu. They all know him and they rejected him that he will not be a good. He will not be a good president, that he will not be an effective president, that he will not be an efficient president, that he will not be a transparent president. They rejected him south, 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 east, and much of uh, north, central. Okay? So if there are people that sold their votes, sold the presidency to Bola Metinubu, they are largely from the north. So it is the Northern electorate and their leaders that sold the presidency to him. That, let that be clear. They are the ones that sold the presidency to him. The Northern uh, leaders who voted for him, for the votes he he was uh, allocated, that was allocated to him in the north. Because you can see that he was largely re rejected in the south-south. So whatever offer, monetary offer, he made in the south-south and south, it was rejected. Don't forget, even in the southwest, he lost Oyo and Lagos State. So two states in that state, in, this, in, the, in, his, in his own southwest, also, we are not, he was not able to buy them, including Lagos, where he was governor for eight years and remained the godfather till date. So that's, that's, that should be noted. However, it is also important to note that beyond what the electorate and the leaders did. The most important was what INEC did. Did INEC, did he also buy INEC? Did he, was he able to buy INEC? Because if he was able to bought, buy everything from primary to the election, from what the report we have just had, from this check, did he also buy INEC? If that was the case, perhaps that the game that was the game changer. Did he did he buy INEC? Now, for those who sold the presidency to him, let us look at the consequences, the price of that selling out. Like the Sheikh said, those who collected spaghetti and macaroni. Those who collected spaghetti and macaroni and other things. What is the price of that today?
The price of that today is that Tinubu as president under his watch, he made exchange rate of the Naira to the dollar at 400 Naira to the dollar at the official window and 700 Naira to the dollar at the, at the black market under President Muhammad Buhari. Today, Naira is hovering at 1,600 Naira to the dollar. And the price of imported goods have gone beyond the reach of the average Nigerian. That is the price of selling the presidency to him. The price of fuel in Nigeria today, in some places, is at 1,000 Naira per liter. That is also the price of selling the presidency to him. Now, the insecurity in the country has also gotten worse under him. This is because a recent data that was released showed that more people have been killed in his first one year in office than the first one year in office of Muhammad Buhari. Food inflation is at over 40 percent. Unemployment rate in Nigeria is right now unprecedented. Nigeria has remained the poverty capital of the world. Nigeria is facing unprecedented poverty and hardship of generational proportion, according to even foreign observers like the New York Times and the Financial Times of London. Nepotism has also gotten worse. We thought we have seen the worst of it under Buhari. Now nepotism is working. Nepotism is working with four legs on him dad. And that is why you see even the north, which I told you that if there are people that sow their votes or sow the presidency to him, it's in the north largely. They are complaining. And that was why you can see that during the last uh, end bad governance protest, it was more intense in the north than in the other part of the country. But that said, but that said, the unanswered question, which I want you to also give us what you think is your, your answer at the uh, comment section to tell us between the Nigerian people and INEC, the Independent National Electoral Commission, who actually sold the presidency to Bola Metinobo? And what can we do to ensure that the presidency is not bought and sold as it was done in 2023. That's my take on this matter. Thank you for watching this video. And if you are new to my channel, you have not yet subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to my channel. Hit the subscription button, hit the notification bell. When you subscribe to my channel, and hit the notification bell, anytime I have a new video, you'll be among the first to know. God bless you. And please don't forget to like this video, because when you like it, Google will rank it high and recommend it for more people. Thank you and God bless you and yours.